today to the NEC in Birmingham to the Forecourt International Show to find out what's on offer as we drive our cars onto the forecourt of our local petrol station. The latest high-tech pumps, faster ways to pay and an array of produce from fresh food to fresh bread to the latest fast food. And with Bob Musgrove now, we're on the uh, Atlantis car show stand. Uh, Bob, tell us the latest thing that's happening in the car wash world. In the past, customers have used brush wash machines, and there are 21 million motorists in the UK, and uh, 3 million of those use a car wash on a regular basis. We know this from surveys we've carried out. When you survey those people to find out why they don't use car washes on a regular basis, uh, the majority of them tell us that they don't want brushes touching their car. People with BMWs and Mercedes and uh, high quality cars uh, feel that the brushes damage the, the surface of the vehicle. In fact, that's not true. Um, the surface can be marred, uh, but it's not scratched. And in fact, you can get it off later. So what have you brought in to replace the brushes? Um, we followed what's happening in the States. And the States generally in the car wash industry have traditionally led the industry and uh, from a marketing point of view. And litigation laws are so bad over there that what they've had to do now is to take the brushes off the machines completely. Because if you have an antennae or a, an aerial wrapped up in a brush, it can cause tremendous damage to the car. So they took the brushes off the machine and uh, they offer car washers that just use high pressure water. And uh, so what we've done together with Cartu, uh, we, we've come up with a machine that offers that facility. So a driver now can go onto a forecourt and we ex traditionally only expect to find a machine with brushes, he now finds he has a machine with brushes and high pressure option. We've come up with a system at Atlantis which is a water recycling system which recycles all of the water. So every piece of water that's used on the vehicle uh, is recycled and uh, this means that uh, operators can save money on water short term um, but, and also uh, operate the car wash in times of drought. And with Matt Lopez now, we're on the Wayne Dresser stand. Wayne Dresser are the market leader for petrol pumps in the UK. Uh, Matt, uh, tell us about this latest petrol pump that you've introduced. We've, we're all used to, to going to, to get money out of the hole in the wall of our bank, but when it comes to petrol pumps, automated pumps are not something we seem to like in the UK. No, it's something that's, uh, that's quite rare. It's, um, it's common on the continent. Certain countries have sort of you know, taken a shine to actually using this sort of equipment whereby you can actually just turn up on the petrol forecourt and pay at the pump. In the UK, even though the technology has actually been around as a product, it's been offered to customers, um, there hasn't been an awful lot of take-up. We think this year, though, there's going to be a turnaround, and it's something that people are beginning to demand, expecting they've been on holiday, they've used it abroad, and they want to use it in the UK as well. It's very simple to use. It's just it's a, a, a box that's attached to the pump. When you turn up, all you do is pick up the... Um, the nozzle that you want to pay with. Please press a button to select payment method. And you can either press at the kiosk or at the pump. So you press at the pump. Insert your card. Follow the instructions. Please wait. Take your card back. And basically, obviously we don't have a car here, but you start filling away. And then when you're finished, place the nozzle back. That triggers everything off again. Have a safe journey. Please reinsert your card for a receipt. And it's a very polite machine, obviously. Put your card back in for the receipt as the instructions, and away you go. So before it'll actually pump any fuel out, it will verify your card. So I mean, if your if your card was it's safe, um, if someone's taken your card and they're going to be naughty and use it, this machine will eat it up and, uh, and make sure that they can't use it anymore. So it really is a very safe system and so easy to use as well. It's as easy as, to, as getting... It's the, the polite voice uh, that sort of guides you through and you just follow the, the instructions that come up on the screen. It's not a problem at all. Child's play. And the other thing that we're now moving into um, is the what we term the infrascreen, which is the ability to use 
and forgive my expression, a television screen. It's a lot more because of the hazard of environment in which it works, but a television screen to use uh, multimedia advertising, it can be used for safety messages, it can be used for traffic information, giving the customer, while standing at the pump, the opportunity of picking up additional information whilst filling his cup. Now at the moment, we, as we explained before, we've got all three here together, but the t technology is coming on stream soon to compress those three into just the one screen. That certainly is. The first stage would be to take the card reader and bring it onto the screen. And with soft keys, you can bring all of that functionality onto the screen here. The third stage, and we are treading into the somewhat delicate situation of weights and measures and uh, consumer protection, and rightly so. We would like to bring the calculator information onto the screen as well. And as a consequence, instead of three boxes, there will be a single box, the ability to take cards, the ability to give information to the customer, and give all the transaction details as well. Let us select, please, press the basic one there. So press the basic £2.50 car wash. And as a result of that, that would get debited to your account on this pump and the transaction details are shown. Five pounds of fuel, two pounds fifty car wash, seven pounds fifty in total, and it gives us a receipt at the end of the day. Correct. Now that receipt will be printed out here in exhibition mode. We'll demonstrate in the top right hand corner. There comes the receipt, which you remove. It has a four digit code number on it. Drive round to the car wash, insert the four digit code, drive off the site. The whole transaction, petrol, car wash, and information all conducted at the pump in the minimum possible time. I'm with David Egan now, who's responsible for the forecourt show here at the NEC. I think particularly for the for the motorist who pulls up on the forecourt, things like the environment and safety issues are very big. Mm. Yes, it's it's uh, big in Britain, and as you know, in Europe now, it's a very uh, big issue. Also, the type of fuels we use, everybody's now familiar with the unleaded, and that's just one of many areas of development on the forecourt. Uh, the next uh, stage that the motorists will become aware of is the, the smell will be getting less and less because of the technology applied and this is all related to protecting the environment. Here at this show there is many exhibitors who have specialized equipment who are supplying for what we call in, in Europe vapor recovery and that is uh, keeping these vapors contained within the forecourts and within the systems. We also have very interesting areas like here for the first time uh, internationally there is a company called Autofill who are exhibiting their robotic fueling and this is where you can drive into a petrol station and without getting out of your car the fuel dispensing pump itself comes, undoes the cap and fills your car. Uh, Anders Dahlquist from Autofill Europe, you've introduced the world's first robotic petrol pump. Tell us how long it took to bring this product to the market. Well, to the market, it, from the start it really took more than 10 years to develop the, the technology and uh, now I've been launching it for half a year ago in, in Stockholm. So just run through what actually happens as you drive onto the forecourt with your car, you're ready to fill it with, with fuel. How does it work? Well, you drive up to a terminal, insert your card, and the robot starts searching for your tank lid. It goes to your tank lid, opens the tank lid, and also starts refueling through the tank cap, which has to be exchanged. Uh, the whole process just takes approximately 90 seconds, and then the car is refueled. The robot goes back and returns to starting position and drive, can drive away. And you put your credit card in as you drive in, and it automatically charges your account? That's right. In the conventional way. And in, t in, in terms of costs for the, uh, the petrol stations, how does it compare with a conventional petrol pump? Uh, you can say that as the autofill is much more uh, effective than a conventional pump, one autofill is have the same ca capacity as two to three conventional pumps, which means that in terms of investment per throughput liter, it is uh, quite as effective as a conventional pump is. Mm -hmm.